Hi guys, anyone there? Hello, hello. Yeah, it's hot. Hi. Yeah, it's super hot, super hot, super hot. I know. Hello. Hi. Uh, so the today's topic of discussion is uh, hyperpigmentation, right? Which means darkening of your skin no matter what the reason is darkening of the skin is what we should discuss today um am i audible to everybody so i can see people are joining in but questions are not yet flowing so let me do a general wrap up about hyperpigmentation um so hyperpigmentation is nothing but uh please talk about alcohol in skin <laughs> yes of course uh, so hyperpigmentation is nothing but anything which darkens your skin is hyperpigmentation uh you know did you did you know that simple things like rubbing your face too much can also cause hyperpigmentation especially we with brown skin tend to have a more tendency of skin becoming really really dark so tendency becoming really dark um one in one concern could be tanning it could be uh, simply friction melanosis it could be um a, a cream or a lotion that you've been using which might be wrong for your skin there we call it as ryles melanosis could be certain uh, conditions where your own body is kind of attacking you in a wrong way you must have seen few people from the neck upwards get pigmented and suddenly they start getting pigmented and you kind of don't know the reason so that's something what we call as lpp so that can happen there is another condition called ashy dermatosis so all of these conditions basically are pigmentation neck upwards usually it starts off in the lower face whereas there's another condition called as melasma which is usually either post pregnancy or at any point of time when there is a hormonal variation could be during an abortion could be when you're taking an oral contraceptive could be when um, you're menopausing so it starts off on the butterfly area of your cheek many people it just stays there and doesn't become worse but a lot of people lower face starts getting pigmented and it becomes even worse and then there could be upper face nose also included so that's generally about pigmentation and what you should not do in a pigmentation definitely is rub and scrub it and do not go to your local friendly chemist and just get the over the counter products because usually they have steroids in it so they will harm your skin more than help your skin also there was in between a trend where there was a little dubby or a little box which was unnamed and it was floating around as a pigmentation cream so don't take anything which has no ingredients labeled on them no labeling at all you don't know where it is produced someone is doing it on the back of the kitchen do not buy those creams and apply so it's very important for you to know what not to do when you have pigmentation now i'm going to start taking questions pigmentation just right on the upper lip is due to just right on the upper lip could be because you're doing laser could also be because you have lots of hair and then when you remove the hair you could end up having the slight blue tinge so it may not be pigmentation the other reason for pigmentation around your mouth is simply dry skin a lot of people keep licking and then that makes it even dry i have thyroid and hyperpigmentation around the eyes yeah thyroid can lead to hyperpigmentation two things that thyroid can lead to is one is hyperpigmentation and one is dry skin now that dry skin can cause more hyperpigmentation so it's important for you to first take care of your dry skin please talk about treatments to get rid of hyperpigmentation we will talk about treatments for hyperpigmentation uh so one most important is dry skin can get hyperpigmented so simply moisturizing your skin well will lead to a lot of improvement in your hyperpigmentation two you could use simple creams with vitamin c serums with arbutane serums with licorice so these are all serums that can really help you without harming you at all even in the long run you can use this you could also use slightly stronger uh, stronger ingredients like kojic acid azelaic acid glycolic acid all of these acids also help you get rid of your pigmentation now most anti pigment creams i like to use it at night because they can cause a little irritation in the skin if that does then you're at home it is night and you're not out in the sun so that's more important if any cream causes pig irritation to you please make sure the next day when you go out in the sun you put a lot of calming cream 
and then put a sunscreen on top of it so you don't burn that irritated skin so super important what about sensitive dry skin yes so you need to apply a lot of moisturizer very very important you need to figure out why is it dry and sensitive in the first place you could be having thyroid you could be having certain nutritional deficiencies which is important so sometimes just putting the cream on top may not help you would want to take a supplement such as hydrate from my range or a prime rose from our range or simply primrose oil omega 369 from any range that you want to pick up so basically hydrate from within and also hydrate from outside with a, with creams for a sensitive skin which becomes really red you could use products from sensodyne ar is a good product to use simply calamine lotion mixed with your moisturizer good thing to do um also you could use a range of tolerion which also has skin care products for sensitive skin so these are things that you can use to calm your skin down reasons for pigmentation on the back and neck could be two it could simply be because you're rubbing your back too much that can cause thickening of your skin what we also call as pih which is post inflammatory hyperpigmentation could be due to any injury or abuse to the skin on the neck especially could also be because of pcos insulin resistance pre diabetic so it's important for you to first get your blood check to do that until you reach your doctor and do your blood check make sure that you end up uh, cutting down your sugar intake and never rub and scrub the back thinking it is dirty those should really help you and like i said creams with azelaic acid might really really do good um i have uneven skin tone yeah uneven skin tone is a very very brown skinned problem right so first thing make sure that you protect your skin from tan and unnecessary pigmentation so an antioxidant cream super important sunscreen very important especially season like this maybe you won't be able to apply as much sunscreen as you want because face might feel sweaty so you make sure you do something called as an internal sunscreen which is uh, your antioxidant supplements vitamin c supplements these are the thing that you can end up taking which really is important and then uh, at night like i said any of the skin lighting ingredients that i mentioned can be used as a night cream hyperpigmentation around the neck i already told you don't rub don't scrub could be insulin resistance could be simply a chain that you're wearing for a long time is rubbing that area so it's friction could be so avoid the friction make sure that you cut down sugar and dairy go to your doctor to see if you have insulin resistance he or she might put you on a on, on a particular tablet that can really help you doing at your doctor's office certain stay on peels like in our office we do retin a peel or yellow peel works wonders dark spots left behind by acne i know that can be quite an irritation so i keep telling all my patients please treat your acne that's much more easier than running after the dark spots but however now that the dark spots are left mix like a glycolic acid and azelaic acid and the retin a and just apply on those dark spots on your back so that will eventually kind of lighten at your doctor's office you could use a stronger peel that the doctor might choose and do for you and then you can also use something called as a q switch laser that really really helps so this is what you can do pigment over forehead cheek and nose could be melasma earlier we were thinking melasma is only for a girl but now even men have melasma is what we know because of the hormonal changes uh so all you could do if you have melasma is doctor will give you a couple of tablets we've had some really good results with melasma so uh you can't just buy it over the counter i would not like you to do it there's something called as a tranexamic acid given orally works brilliantly we have a combination of that antioxidant and the vitamin c works lovely for us there are certain peels and certain q switch lasers that should be done but i warn you don't go and do laser at anywhere and everywhere when you have a melasma because that can actually trigger it to become worse uh but the other reason for pigmentation on your forehead and your upper cheek could simply be friction could be sun damage because that's where the sun lands when you're driving in your car so use a good sunscreen and back at home at night use a really calming cream with a lot of skin lightening ingredients in them uh two dark circles also come under pigment yes dark circles do come under pigmentation um but dark circles it could be hereditary which means in the family someone else also might have dark circles so then you know it's a what we call as a familial dark circle that's very difficult to take it away if it is your lifestyle alter your lifestyle i'm sure you have enough gyan i don't want to be wasting our spare time with that gyan of what to do 
um, eat right, sleep right, all of that. Could be simply iron deficiency anemia. So check your iron. Could be a start of a thyroid. So make sure you check that also. What can you do for under eye dark circles? One, any of the skin lightening creams that I mentioned can be used. But if you're using acid based creams, make sure it is really low in percentage of the acid. You can mix it with another under eye cream and then use it initially. Um, and then you could at your doctor's always do hydrating but light peels like lactic acid peels maybe that really helps. Combine it with a Q-switch helps wonderfully. If you have a trench under the eye which is causing to shadowing, doing a filler is like magic. But again, this is another warning that for that go to a really, really experienced doctor. Bargain is not you want to look for in these things. So just me a good moisturizer for normal skin. Normal skin, I like moisturizer, which are very thin, more like milky. So I really love it. Um, we have something called, with, with the niacinamide called Eclat. I just love that. Uh, there is another thing called as Brilliante. I love that as well. So those are the two things which are nice. Um, Ma'am, how to treat uneven skin tone? Face is much darker than the neck. Some people do have face which is darker than the neck, but what you could do is, Start of cleansing your face properly. A lot of times simply dead skin accumulates on your face and that starts to make the skin look dark. So you can use a nice exfoliator once in two nights. Use simply a micellar water on your thing and nicely wipe the skin off. So all the dead skin which is on top doesn't just sit sticking onto it. Along with the dead skin, usually melanin, the pigment producing skin also sits there. I mean, cell also sits there. So it kind of skin looks darker. So nicely wipe that off and then use a vitamin, like I said, a vitamin C, lycorish, um, arbutane, niacinamide. These are the ingredients that you look for and start applying them day, night in your creams. Also make sure you protect yourself from sun really, really well. How to remove pimple marks? We discussed it just now. Moisturizer for oily skin. Try and look for anything more um, hydrating more than um, moisturizing. So you look for an AHA based, water based, gel based. So there are a lot of lovely things. I like the moisture surge from Clinique. Um, there's a Hydro Boost uh, cream. I can't remember. I think it's from Bioderma. That's fantastic. So these are the things that you can end up using. You could even simply use a mist, a hydrating mist and then use a sunscreen on top. Can we use a hexanol with vitamin C? Yes, you can. Why not? Tiny open pores, what do I do? Depends on your age. If you're kind of 40 plus, the open pores which shows up now could be because your collagen is kind of deteriorating and the skin is aging. So it could be just loosening of the skin itself can open your know, gap, like open up those pores. So you could opt for like a Retin-A uh, creams at night or you could use um, um, peptides in the day, which is fantastic to use as well. Um, you could use tretinoin also, which uh, in case you have an oily skin and open pore, a tretinoin, retin-A, all this really, really will help. Otherwise, if it's a mature dry skin with open pores, you end up using collagen boosting creams. Um, uh, like I said, peptides, all these really work well. At your doctor's office, a radio frequency treatment or an ultrasound treatment is a focused ultrasound or simply micro needling and micro needling with radio frequency works wonders. It tightens your skin, closes your pore, takes away the acne scars. So that's one of the things that I really love. May I, may I know your skin tone? My skin tone? I don't know. I call it light. Like if you ask me by the number, it could be three or it could be two. So just a vitamin C serum. Uh, Eclat has a fantastic serum. True Dharma has a fantastic serum. Over the counter products also you have Quite how can I buy your supplements? You need to simply go on soulskin.com or soulskin on, in, on, on Instagram. I will put those handles at the end of this chat. Soul is S-O-L. Yeah. And can you suggest from OTC? Sorry, it's moving too quickly. Scarlet. Yeah, I love Scarlet, which is micro needling with radio frequency. One of my favorite equipments tightens your skin, closes the pores, works on acne scar, anti-aging. So I love it. Underarm darkness, if you have body fold darkness, that could be because of uh, um, insulin resistance or PCOS. So make sure that is not there. Get to your doctor, get your blood tests. Until you do that, cut down on sugar and use an azelic acid cream underarm at night. That might help you. Do not scrub it. 
pigmentation near chin um pigmentation near chin i've seen in a lot of teenagers and that happens sometimes because of extra rubbing and i see that a lot of uh contact from the partner when when they are not shaved well enough leads to a lot of pigmentation and irritation around the chin so check what your partner is doing tiny bumps over my face it went away is it safe to what gluta c plus ascorbic acid yeah you can use ascorbic acid is nothing but vitamin c you can dark lip treatment again every cream that works on your face will work on your lip also similar treatments like peels and few switches work brilliantly and we have a specialized lip peel at the clinic which works wonderfully well you can do that uh peptide cream suggest suggestions um there's something called as a qt sera which used to be from an indian uh, was available in india should be available still don't know because of all this locked on what's available what's not um you also have uh, re um sorry i'll i'll tell you the name one of my favorites not available in india but you can get it online that's really nice you also have metrixil which is nice from the ordinary that's a good peptide so these are things you can use after laser i got pigmentation on the cheekbone which means probably the right energy hasn't been used at all when they were doing it so they could have been that as a reason to um it's a pih which is post inflammatory hyperpigmentation what you can do is use a combination of uh, like a glyco glycolic acid you get it as glyco a over the counter and then azelic acid which you may get from different companies so these two just mix up and applying the night and wait and watch hydroquinone at 2% without any other mixture can be used alternate nights so that will really help faster sunscreen in the daytime don't rub and scrub birds be lip balm yes i love it go ahead can i know is it good to use ordinary product i love ordinary that's one of my favorite brands so the ordinary good brand please go ahead um glutathione safe yes it is it is safe to eat consume glutathione as a oral supplement wonderful works really well as an antioxidant but you may have to combine it with a vitamin c to get the best benefit moisturize for dry skin i like more thick moisturizers and especially when you have a dry skin that's the time you need to layer your product so put a mist first then put a serum and then put a moisturizer so that really works well i think i did a recent post on moisturizer and moisturizing please see that post that that video that gives you in detail product for under eye circle i like a product called byluma very easily available for you it's called byluma um it's meant for skin pigmentation stuff like that very plant extract so you might really love that so try using that uh sunscreen for combination skin a few brands that i like is escarin uv do which is d o u x uh cetaphil has a good sunscreen eucerin has a good sunscreen for those international people who have logged in today um so that that really works fantastically well emollient safe very safe not a problem clinic products are good yes they are good can you please tell uh, bioderma white objective used at night ordinary you can use it at night even in the evening that's quite good uh, sunscreen for oily skin use more silicon based matte sunscreen like i was mentioning uv do fantastic it it's matte and you will really like it you can even use escarin that's also silicon based very matte that's also pretty nice oily acne prone pigmentation skin suggest some moisturizer with antioxidants um, um you could use a vitamin c serum since it is um since it is oily pro oily and acne prone skin don't use too much of a thick moisturizer just use serums vitamin c is good niacinamide is really good to choose as an ingredient arbutane is a good ingredient in the serum to use start using retinol without consulting a doctor yes you can uh you could use retinol at night without consulting a doctor but make sure uh, you are not pregnant even if you are there are no studies on pregnant women but then applying just a little bit of retinol on your face is not going to absorb and cause harm but theoretically it does so you can ask your doctor sunscreen for dry skin i like uh, eucerin that's really nice for dry skin there's also something called as helio care you might even like that try that to get rid of acne what to use firstly get your diagnosis of acne sweetie and today is not an acne session so i'm going to skip that question uh good drugs what drug store retinol mm. does your supplement reduce pimples and increase brightness yes it does mm. any home remedies to reduce pigmentation um chandan that was my mom's remedy and that really really works you know you get chandan those sticks earlier yellow it's a red sandalwood i think so so red and yellow sandalwood if you get and nicely mix it up 
and use that paste on your skin. It's amazing for pigmentation. Nothing else works like that. So try and see where you can get some. How long can we use Kojivit? It's pretty safe. You can use it for a long time. Small bumps on my cheeks. Why? Why? I don't know. <laughs> so there could be many, many reasons. So I will have to actually check you. Oral sunscreen safe. Very safe. My suggestion is to take Bright from our series, which is fantastic as an oral sunscreen. Add a vitamin C, you're well protected. Cerefil cleanser is good for oily skin. I don't know which one you're talking. The gentle cleanser, I'm not very fond of. They have a new one, which is gentle exfoliating cleanser, which I'm pretty fond of. Red bumps on the forehead and cheek. Um, are, you, are you talking about inflamed acne? It could be that. That's not for today's session. Is it okay use face wash in the morning? Yes, you should use face wash in the morning. There's a video that I recently posted which says cleanser and cleansers. Please see that video. You will see why you should use a cleanser in the morning. Very important. Um, retinol based cream for open pores. You even have the regular Lacme uh, anti-aging, not Lacme, sorry, Pond's anti-aging cream which comes in a red tub. Their retinolehyde is fantastic. You could even try that. That's over the counter, right? Forehead acne could be dandruff. So please look at that first. Or could simply be an oily skin, could be a teenager. So end up using a little bit of tretinoin that helps. No acne, guys. Only pigmentation. How to reduce pigmentation around eyes? We already did. Sunken eye. Sunken eye, the only thing which will actually give you a magical result is fillers. A little bit of fillers around the lower eye. Wonderful results and it's instant and lasts for a long time. Safe only when you go to the right doctor. So make sure you do that. Chemical exfoliating? Yes, why not? So there are two kinds of chemical exfoliating. One could be just enzymes, which you can even use at home. Low level acids can be used at home. Slightly more, um, more um, stronger acids, you need to go to your doctor's office. So you could do. Uh, underarm pigmentation, we already discussed. Could be because of insulin resistance, PCOS, simply friction. So make sure that you have your underarm hair removal done with your doctor with a laser, which is really good. And then you end up using an azelic acid cream at night. So that might really help. Stop using deodorants with, uh, uh, with alcohol in it. So try and use a roll-on. That will also help. Um, make sure firstly that you don't have an infection under the arm which is creating that dark patch. If you have a patch which is itchy or it has a definitive border, it could be an infection. So make sure it's not a bacterial or a fungal infection. Then you start thinking of these creams. Potato helps? Yes, potato helps. <laughs> it's got a lot of vitamin A in it. Um, it's got nice antioxidants in it, so potato can help. But these things take forever, guys. Um, double cleanser, doctor? Why not? If you have an oily skin and if you have already makeup applying, you must do a double cleanser. So first use a cleanser with an oil-based cleanser. So all that oily, em it emulsifies with it and then it comes out easily. Then you can use like a soapy, lathery, water-based cleanser and wash it all off. So yes. Uh, lip pigmentation, there's not a particular cream, but you can use creams with kojic acid, like a Biluma, Lycoris, uh, Arbutane, Vitamin C. All of these are pretty safe, even if you by accident lick it away. How to treat uh, perioral pigmentation? Perioral pigmentation is usually one in family's heredity that can be running. Two, it could be because of thyroid. So dry skin can be. Simply dry skin can cause perioral pigmentation. Perioral means he's saying around the mouth. So firstly, use a lot of moisturizer to that area and then use the skin lightening creams that I was mentioning all around. Uh, Heliocare a good sunscreen? Yes, it is. I like it, but it can get a little sticky and oily. So make sure your skin is dry skin. Permanent lip makeup a good one? Mm, I wouldn't because lip is one thing which really, really changes as you age. So you don't want to have a border at some point where it changes and then it flakes off sometime and the color you may not want to put the same. So it's a very personal thing. But is it harmful? No, it is not. Um, Pond's anti-aging night cream, very nice. I love it. Why not? Please go ahead and use it. But if you have a very dry skin, you may want to use it for two, three hours, check it out and then do it. Um, option for treatment option for nevus pilus, that is um, something called as uh, speckled nevus, what we call it. So it will be like a patch of skin with dot, 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 darker skin on top. Um, Q-switch laser is your option, but may not completely go away. Um, milia on the cheek needs to be opened up. I wear powder sunscreen. Fantastic. Very good. 
uh, good sunscreen for oily skin we already did matte sunscreen silicone based sunscreens are really good like escarin has one maybe do has one uh, true derma has one all of them have vitamin c serum yes very good please use what for acne scar supplements acne scar supplements you could use anagen because that helps uh, build your skin and repair your skin you could use vitamin c supplement you could also use our bright which really helps um freckles on the face <laughs> freckles on the face is again running in the family and nothing takes it away people love it it looks beautiful so don't run after it because even if we can treat it we can treat it we can get rid of the freckles with a q switch laser at a 532 uh, um wavelength but the point is come next summer it is going to come back so there's no permanent treatment for it but while you are at it you could use a vitamin c uh, lactic acid might really work well and then a sorry about that there was a call which came in uh, how to get rid of uh, best vitamin c serum true derma has one uh, skin cuticles has one ordinary has one um eclat has one all of them are good guys pco pigmentation target areas pco usually you can get on the neck pigmentation body fold pigmentation you could even get on your face and your cheek so all of those pigmentation can happen with pcos uh lips are dark firstly stop licking your lips i can bet you're smacking your lip so stop doing that wash your lip each time you feel dry use an ice lip cream don't use with petroleum jelly if you especially have dry skin um dry lip and then make sure any of the ingredient that i told you the skin ingredients can be even used on the lip pretty safely uh pigmentation around mouth we dealt with it talk about st- stretch marks oh my god that's another big thing stretch marks not really much can be done to be honest you could improve it to quite a bit extent but you can't just erase it away so there are peels that you can do at your doctor or doctor's office micro needling helps micro needling with radio frequency helps ultrasound helps anything that stimulates your collagen and elastin and tightens the skin is going to help but can we erase it no you can't can we prevent it you can't even do that because again if if genetically you're prone to your skin getting um uh, stretch marks you will get can you reduce the intensity yes you can make sure that you nicely put a lot of moisturizer while you're pregnant and there are a lot of creams like strivectin sd elastoderm bio oil any of these can be done koji light cream on top of vitamin c yeah you can good anti aging no that's not today's session uh must have skin care products for glowing skin not today's session <laughs> uh where are my hearts i don't see any uh please suggest uh talk about facial hair not in today's session sweetie today's session is only on hyperpigmentation so those are the only questions that i really want uh want to answer today so we keep that constant thank you for all the hearts <laughs> yeah so recently i heard that emollient should be used uh, no emollient is just a moisturizer please go ahead and use it that's fine glycolic toner yes that is perfectly all right again i think you have a nice glycolic toner with ordinary no i don't endorse ordinary there is no financial uh, tie up it's just that it's a good product uh, underarm darkening we dealt with it kojic acid is a good one to use thank you thank you for the hearts keep them coming i just love them sunday afternoon i'm sitting and doing a session um so i need some boost uh depi white quite good yes you can use it i quite like it a uh, sunscreen for dry skin heliocare or um eucerin that i really like cetaphil has a sunscreen also for dry skin which is really nice um acne on the thighs it may not be acne you you are mistaking it that is something called as ingrowth that you end up getting folliculitis that ends up happening that you must have sat and scratched it and that must have led to marks so stop scratching it stop doing waxing shave it off use a lot of moisturizers the skin on top is nice and supple use a retinae cream that also helps thank you thank you so much um pigment on the nose it could be because you've been scratching and removing your blackhead one two it could be an horizontal pigmentation it could be dermatitis it could be a part of your dandruff as well so make sure you use that anti dandruff lotion that your doctor has given there even on the nose and around the nose if it is itchy and kind of you can collect a flake when you scratch but otherwise simply pigmentation on those um, could be suntan could be a start of a melasma at times so show your doctor um no blackheads i'm not talking melasma be treated melasma can be reduced 100% treated 
no is is a little difficult so you kind of start off with certain internal sunscreens and antioxidants like bright vitamin c primrose oil all that might really help like i said something called tranexamic acid also really really helps and then on top you need to apply a good sunscreen especially if you have melasma even the visible light can cause a lot of harm not just the uv bands so make sure the minute you open your eyes in the morning you apply a sunscreen very very important during the day you could use arbutane niacinamide tranexamic acid itself as a cream all of this you can use during the night you can resort to a small amount of hydroquinone like just a 2% alternate days and make sure your skin is not getting red that can really help okay now my throat is hurting and i'm exhausted we have had 32 minutes of a wonderful chat let me go please so keep the comments flowing let me know what more you want i will try and cover it in videos and i shall try and be online today as much as i can to answer all your questions so keep them flowing and see you all um thank you bye have a great sunday oppo yeah i ended come just get your phone you already ended okay